Well, I noticed coming up this morning, trains stopped everywhere. They're still stopped everywhere. That this guy stopped here, we are at 348 West Woodford, and everyone is stopped because right there is a broken rail. I talked to my source, he said they don't even, he doesn't even know if they have anybody on the way yet to fix this. Earlier when I talked to him, he said they weren't on site, obviously. They're not, so there's no telling how long it's gonna be before they start running trains, probably a couple hours anyhow, once they get somebody up here, they'll probably, uh, I don't know, it's right next. Yeah, it's right next to a field well, so they won't be able to put bars on it. So they're gonna have to cut that out and cut in a new piece of rail. So it's gonna be a while. All right, well, let's see what happens next. Well, the track forces, the maintenance of way have showed up. Uh, cut a piece, of, cut the broken piece out. Cut in a new piece, angle bar it in there and get these trains running. Don't come back later and weld it out. All right, well, you can see there that they have cut in a new piece of rail, replace that broken rail. They have normal the switch. It was reversed when we got here. So it would appear that they're going to run the train on the main out of here first. This guy's on the move. next to him has fired up his headlight and I don't know there was a, a dip in this uh, rail here where that brake was and they may have put a slow order on that Lights. Well, every one of those units are running. crossing down there that goes into Three Peaks Ranch. dusting of snow up there on the hills behind Keene. There was no snow at all down this low. I came up this morning and start till about cable. And I am with the 
Stephen again. We went down to Bealeville, Rowan, and Caliente. There are trains, there are eastbound trains sitting in all those places. I don't know if they will run this westbound out of the siding before they start running eastbounds up. But uh, we will certainly find out. I still haven't had a chance. I put the video up the other day of all the cool stuff that subscribers have got me. I still haven't used the radar gun because I took all that stuff out of my truck, stuck it in my office, and I just keep forgetting to put it in Jennifer's car. So I don't have that with me, but we'll get to that. Plenty of time, plenty of trains. They were uh, recruiting one of these trains. We left a while ago after we shot the track guys starting to fix it and that's when we went down and checked out the other places. But as we were leaving the, the Hulkon or whatever the name of the company is that hauls these crews around now, uh, they, their vehicle was leaving at that or coming in at that time. And it well, looks like they, I don't know, who knows. Yeah, I don't know where that guy's going. All right, I guarantee you things are gonna get lively. There's the uh, van right there. Obviously gonna recrew that train right there. There is a train sitting at Rowan, so they're probably gonna get him going first, but that's never a given, but you know me. I love to speculate. All right, let's see what happens next. All right, well, we've pulled down here between Marcel and Waylong. My source just called and said they're going to run this guy out and there are no more eastbounds or no more westbounds or northbounds behind him. Sounds like he's releasing maybe. Sounds like an old poppin' Johnny out in the oil field. But once this guy goes, they're gonna start cutting the eastbounds loose and we'll have a bunch of trains coming up the hill. All right. Well, we have moved up here between Waylong and Marcel. And they're cutting the eastbounds loose. This is the Union Pacific train that was sitting in the uh, down at Rowan when we were there earlier. My source said that there are trains. This guy, and then we know that we saw the ones at this one. We saw one at Bealeville, one at Caliente. He said there's one at Bina. But as of when I talked to him, there was nothing uh, lined out of Mojave westbound. So right now we just got a whole bunch of eastbounds to check out. On here, you can see that red signal just over the top of the road with the road crest there. That is East Marcel. Let's 
snow is melting to higher and higher elevations. But it's still pretty chilly up here. I don't know what it is. Feels like it's in maybe in the mid 40s, low 40s. But it sure beats 110. I had some stuff that I forgot to give to uh, Steve, a couple of, he had given me those books that I showed you on my stuff that subscribers gave me, and I had some things I was going to give to him that I forgot to give to him the other day, so I got in contact, and I was going to mail them to him, and he said, hey, let's just uh, go out and shoot another day on the mountain, you can take me to some of these out of the way places, so here we are, oh god that lumber smells good. I love that smell. Missed my calling working in a sawmill, I guess, huh? Of course, I liked a lot of the railroad smells too. Doesn't look like threatening weather. The cloud cover. show Jennifer's car too much before I get it washed. She never watches these videos anyway, so. Sent me a message this morning. Please don't get my car too muddy. Uh, we'll see. No promises, babe. Still up here between Waylon and Marcel, just around the curve there. This guy's chugging right along. This must have been the guy that was at Bina. units are not running.
Again, another train that's not very long. And no, I haven't got any earplugs yet. I asked my buddy for them, but he has been unavailable. He said he'd get me some, but he's been unavailable for the last three weeks. We have not been able to get together and have coffee. And if I'm not mistaken, he is headed back to North Dakota tomorrow. So it's still going to be a while before I get some uh, earplugs from him. All right. Come up here to Waylon. Sitting down at Caliente earlier, Stephen pointed out that there was a manifest in Bill Bill, so they probably ran this container train. Obviously, ran this container train around him, a little higher priority. train down on the uh, horseshoe curve where the fifth crossing of Tehachapi Creek is. Highway 58 up above it there. see it from here, but there's a cross up on that hill. It's part of the memorial for the Never Crown and David Reese who perished in the uh, 1989 derailment at Riverside. Someone asked me if I would do a piece on that at some point, and I will. I was going to get permission from the guys at the Loop Ranch, who have certainly given me permission, but this is now under the Conservancy, so there's no one around to ask, so I'm just gonna do it one of these days. Steven there getting his shot, and as it is whenever I am out with subscribers, where we go is up to them. If they're not familiar with the area, as the uh, gentleman I was with yesterday, Roger and Joe, they weren't familiar with the area, so I just took them where I thought some of the cooler places were. Steven has some ideas about where he wants to go, so that's what we're doing today. of the train. Coming out of 
the tunnel. As I noted, uh, I've noted in a few videos recently that they're starting to run a lot of trains that aren't nearly as long as uh, they have been. I don't know if that's because they just want to get things moving or, or what. But you know me. I love to speculate. If you have uh, some more information on that, drop the comments below. Bear Mountain over there. A little dusting of snow on it. It's about a little under 8,000 feet. I think that's about a 7,900 foot feet. So snow sticks around up top of that for a while. See, there's still a dusting up there on that hill. And the wind blowing off of it, it's cold. My hands are getting cold. Should have put on my gloves. about where the old east end of Waylong was before they created double track. Switch was just right up there, about 150 or 200 feet, I guess, from here. up here to cable we're down to bottom end this is no this is a different train BNSF manifest the one we saw down at Billville earlier had a CSX locomotive in the point consist so that's not this guy Toward the Hatchby. See, there's still quite a bit of snow on the mountains up above town there, but pretty much all gone down here already.
as I hang out with more of these uh, viewers and subscribers who are more conversant with uh, locomotives and train designation stuff, I learn a little bit more all the time and I'm starting to kind of learn through osmosis about uh, some of the differences in these locomotives that I never paid any attention to when I was working. shoot today we'll see what uh, Stephen wants to do I'm gonna catch some stills after this all right as usual I know I said I wasn't gonna make any more videos but got some really cool stills of the last couple of trains but uh, this guy here started coming up we went to the crossover the cable crossover and decided we come up here a little ways and catch a little meat here. That, with the CSX on it there, was a train that was sitting at Bealville earlier and I not knowing much about locomotives was explained to me that the first two units on that were the dregs of the pool <laughs> and that the CSX unit was actually a much newer and better unit first came up here from the bottom end of cable on the freeway there was an eastbound stopped here and he was strung out all the way through to Hatchby stopped on the number two track over there and they were crossing trains over at the cable crossover but evidently they that train has since moved on. Sorry about the Wigglies. But that train has moved out of the way when we came back up here, obviously. So I don't know what the problem with it was. And again, I left my radio at home because I'm not used to it not being in my car. between uh, Cable and Tehachapi. Kind of in Tehachapi already. There's some of the places.
ends and rear ends met at just about the same place. All right, well, that will conclude a chilly fall day of chasing trains around the area between, uh, where did we go? We went all the way to Caliente. Uh, got a lot of stills, got a lot of video. So uh, when S Stephen gets home, he's going to have a lot of cool stuff from around here. Stephen needs to get his YouTube channel up and running because he's got some really cool videos of old Southern Pacific and Santa Fe stuff at the Loop in 1991. Yeah, correct. Really cool stuff. No, I don't look old enough, but yeah. I have. <laughs> yeah, you just don't you just don't see that kind of stuff. Plus, he's got a lot of stuff from uh, uh, over in England and did you say Scotland. You have yeah. some stuff from there. Yeah, you need to start a channel and uh, put that cool stuff up. Okay. All right, well, keep shooting me the ideas. Drop me comments below. Shoot me an email to motorport59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. Go check out my Patreon. Here's the URL for it, and. Uh, we will see you all later.